What's going on guys, Ryan here with Jetta Patrol. Today's video, I have a package from Shroomy Nation. Oh boy. What's going on guys, Ryan here with Jetta Patrol. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, now's a good time to make that happen, guys. Go ahead and hit the button, hit the thumbs up button, comment down below, participate in today's video. We have daily giveaways going on along the entire month of October. And I'm telling you what, today's video, oh man. So on 3-Pack Tuesday, I was telling you guys about how I have this package coming at the UPS and I need to go pick it up. And uh, I thought it was my prize that I won from Sideshow Collectibles during SDCC. If you didn't know, I actually won a Hot Toys um, first order Stormtrooper from uh, Sideshow. And uh, which they do live giveaways and stuff all the time. If you haven't already followed them on Instagram and YouTube and all that stuff, you need to do that. But um, anyway, so I went to UPS this morning and lo and behold, it was not the package I was expecting. In fact, I don't remember buying this and I don't remember winning this and I don't, rem I di I don't know. It turns out that I got a mystery package from none other than Nia over at Shumi Nation and he sent me a birthday gift and I figured I'd share that with you guys. I figured now was a good time as any to make that happen. Guys, this gift is just it's it's unbelievable unbelievable nia you have outdone yourself i don't know what the heck you were smoking when you decided to do this this is this is way way beyond anything in fact i told him this morning when i figured out what the heck was going on i said dude let me i gotta return this there's no way i can accept this thing it's insane and he said no nah, it's your birthday gift happy birthday and um let me go ahead and show you what he got me <sighs> man this is nia i'm telling you right now this is unbelievable man uh, this might take a minute to get out of the box. It's so flipping huge, but we're gonna try. Let's see if I can do. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready for this? Somebody, look at this, guys. He got me Gladiator Hulk Hot Toys figure from Thor Ragnarok. Nia, what? Uh, what are you thinking, man? This is this is crazy. I just crazy. I, if you guys are okay, I want to take this out of the boxes. You know. I'm kind of excited. All right, so I've got this table here, and we're gonna try and unbox this guy. As you can tell, it's freaking humongous. It's humongous. Now, your normal Hot Toys box is maybe here, and maybe like there. I mean, it's, it's, it's like twice the size of a normal Hot Toys box, which it should be, it's Hulk, right? So we're gonna unbox this thing. I have never seen this thing in person, so I, I don't know. I saw his video where he unboxed his, and it looks amazing. Uh, looks like we've got, yeah, we got a, we got a tab right here. Uh, I can't, I don't know. Guys, comment down below how ridiculous this is, how awesome Neo Shumi Nation is, because this is, this is unbelievable. Holy crap. <laughs> Look how big this, holy cow, man. All right, so there he is out with the clamshell off of this thing. Look how, hum oh man. I can't, it, all right, so if you're wondering what this thing comes with, obviously we've got the body. We've got two different head sculpts. We've got this one. We've got a screaming one right over there. We've got a helmet. I'm doing this backwards. Helmet. We've got the, the two weapons. Oh. It's <laughs> crazy. Oh, Nia, what are you doing, dude? So we've got an axe, which I think is pretty freaking cool. It's huge. Oh, man. That's crazy. Uh, we've got his mallet. Dude. I think you could actually use this to hammer nail. This is crazy, man. And the paint design on it, the paintwork, the like the weathering and the shading in it, it's just beautiful. So there's that, guys. Look at this thing. That's just absolutely flipping beautiful. All right, so we got that. We'll put that right there. We got to we got to take this guy out of the box. We got to we got to take him out. Um, I can't under um, overestimate or oversell how heavy. This thing is, oh, holy crap. This thing is way heavy. Um, it's gotta be, it's got to be four pounds. Like just the, that's in, insane for a Hot Toy figure. I mean, just, uh, for any figure really, it's, that's crazy. All right, so let's take that part off. Let's take the arms. Now, if you don't know, Hot Toys does a very good job of packaging. They typically wrap everything up very well. They even put these foam pieces on the joints so you don't have rubbing and shipping, so you don't have any paint uh, defects or anything like that. 
So, I mean, they do things very, very well. All right, so I've taken this guy out of the box and I've got piles of accessories everywhere. I've got uh, extra hands, so he's got uh, three sets of hands. Yeah, three sets of hands. So we've got three left hands, which we've got like a fighting kind of pushing off hand deal. We've got a gripping hand for his weapons, left hand. Uh, we've got a left hand fist, and on the right hand, we got the same thing, guys. It's pretty much, well, I'm sorry, not that. We've got the right, same thing for the right hand. So we got those, we've got three sets of hands there. We've actually got an initial head sculpt. We've got a helmet, which has got the, oh man, that's freaking beautiful. You've got the ear flaps to go on both sides of those things. We'll look at those in a second. We've got both our weapons, which you guys have already seen. And I don't know where to go from here. All right, guys, fast forward. We're right here. I'd taken him out of the box and kind of play with the accessories a little bit because I did. I knew this would take a little while. And with Hot Toys figures, you definitely want to read the instructions and make sure you don't mess anything up. So I took a little time with that. And with the magic of YouTube, here we are. Uh, and I will tell you right now, this thing is amazing. Like, the, 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 just the scale of it is crazy. I mean, this guy is humongous. So I'll give you guys a close-up, like I said. And you can see the screaming head sculpt. I mean, it's just, you don't, it, it can't get any better than that. It really can't. It really can't. So the eyes on this head sculpt, the screaming head sculpt, are adjustable. Uh, so you can actually have him look whichever direction you want him to look, which is awesome because I have that in my DX uh, Jack Sparrow figure as well. And I just love it because it just brings the figures to life. Or they're not always in a dead stare somewhere, or they're not you know, like stuck. I have the uh, Spider-Man Homecoming figure, which you can see right there on the shelf behind me, and the Tom Holland head sculpts like looking off to one side permanently. It drives me insane. One reason I don't use that head sculpt, but these. Uh, eyes where you can adjust them is just is just beautiful guys the tailoring on here the scale of it the uh, man it's just Nia yeah. dude dude I don't want to tell you guys I don't want to tell you this thing is just absolutely beautiful now he does have uh, knee joints here which don't bother me in the slightest the elbows are seamless so there's no bend there there is a joint here you can see but honestly, I mean, it's just, I can't tell you how heavy the, the, the scale and the weight of this thing. It is humongous. It just really is. And you can see right there, guys, you can get them in some awesome, awesome poses. You can have them looking right at you. I mean, look at that. You do not want to mess with this guy. Do not want to mess with him. So I can't wait to take some photos, throw them on Instagram of this guy, and have him playing with Deadpool, who's right there and i know they're going to get in a lot of trouble together this one i put on the helmeted sculpt because i just i just thought it was cool you can see like the detail they've got on there the back of it you can see the the weathering on his armor clothing i mean just all of this patchwork and just hot toys does not does not disappoint and i will tell you there's there's hot toys that start off in the 150 dollars range 200 dollars range this guy's like 350 uh so it was a substantial gift from nia dude again you're nuts. Um, but at that price point, this figure is worth every flipping penny. Absolutely every penny. And um, man, I just, I mean, look at the armor on this guy. Look at the armor on the shoulder on this guy. That's just beautiful, man. Just absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So let me show you some of the other sculpts we got here. Let me put him right here for a second. And like I said, we've got extra hands. You guys don't really care about that too much. Um, I do want to show you this on on my figure the uh the other head sculpt that's the other sculpt this one does not have well i don't think it does let me take this off oh no it does ha huh. it does so it does on the back of this guy so you see these little joysticks in here that's where you can adjust the eyes and you can make them look wherever you want them to look it's just crazy crazy detail so let me put his head back together because that's not creepy at all <laughs> All right, so there we go. Uh, this one, the magnet glue came off the top and the magnet stuck to the head. So all I've got to do, I've had this happen with Iron Man figures. All i got to do is take that magnet that's stuck on that side, glue it back there, let it set, and it, you're not going to have any problem with that. But um, there it is. And you guys can get an idea of what this head sculpt looks like. Let's see if we can get you to focus. There we go. I mean, look at that. Guys, this is why I collect Hot Toys right here. This this is the reason why I love Hot Toys. Look at this face sculpt. Look at the paint app. 
Look at the reality of this thing. It is crazy, crazy, crazy good. And while I love pops, guys, I, I got over 600 of them. I got a lot of them. You you can't you can't beat these things. I mean, just you can't beat them. You you just can't do it. You can't do it. I don't know, Nia. Um, I don't. Thank you. I don't know what else to say, guys. Today's code. Today's code is Hulk. I mean, I, what fitting code, what else could it be? It had to be Hulk, right? So, guys, in the description below, there's a link to a Gleam contest. Enter today's code. Follow that link. And um, comment down below on how awesome Shumi Nation is. I, I don't want to tell you guys. <laughs> uh, unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. I, I don't know. I don't know. Guys, come back tomorrow. We got more stuff going on. Collect what you like. See ya.